At the Malimba village on the lower Senegal River, Mwanko, the destruction of mangrove is unprecedented. In this small village, Yoyo, still in Mwanko, almost every household has got a pile of mangroves behind their home ready to burn to smoke fish. More than 80% of the population here in Mwanko in the Sanaga Maritime Division of the Litura region depend on fishing for their livelihood. But this percentage equally signals danger for the population of the mangroves as most of them are wantonly cut down in order to smoke fish for preservation. 2,500 cubic meters of mangrove is cut down every day in Mwanko. During the fish cast period, when fishing is intense, this number goes way up. Mangroves are a vital ecosystem. Not only are they a herb for fish reproduction, but they equally play a vital role in combating the effects of climate change, sequestrating five times the amount of carbon as compared to terrestrial forest. They equally act as a barrier between land and sea. However, with such wanton destruction, the mangrove ecosystem are impeded of performing their full functions. Most people here in Mwanko use this open oven to smoke fish for preservation. Not only do these ovens consume huge quantities of mangroves, but they are equally a health risk. The difficult, I know that is to... It is stressful using this oven because when you put wood, you need to continuously check on the fire. And when you do this, you inhale a lot of smoke and the smoke equally enters into your eyes. For years, a local NGO, the Cameron Wildlife Conservation Society, has been working to conserve the mangroves. The CWCS has developed a modern, energy-efficient oven that cuts down on the amount of mangrove used in smoking fish. In an official ceremony that took place on December the 15, 2018, one of such modern ovens was officially presented to women of the training center in Mwanko. With the modern system, that will help more or less decrease more than 60% of the mangrove being cut, reduce 60% of the quantity of wood that is being used, and considerably increase a decrease up to eight hours of smoking time compared to up to three days of smoking time in the traditional system. So we compare to the traditional system, this is going also it's a clean technology that is going to reduce the impact, the negative health impact associated with uh, uh, pulmonary diseases, uh, lung exposures to smoke and even heat. But here, the, the heat is quite concentrated and is useful channel into the conservation and drying of the fish. For women who have tested this oven, they say it saves them a lot of stress. We used to waste a lot of wood. We used to waste a lot of energy to find wood to come with it here. But now it is reduced. We are not wasting a lot of energy. We just use a, a, a little wood and it don't give us strength. The fight to save the mangroves of Mwanko inspired a regeneration project 10 years ago. The mangroves you see just right behind me were planted in 2008. That is almost 10 years at today. And they are already performing one of the major functions of mangroves, which is a herb for fish reproduction. And if you look around here, you'll see that there are a lot of fishermen who are already fishing in this part of the waters. Aware of the need to better conserve the mangrove ecosystem, the Cameroon government in October 2018 transformed the Douala Edeya National Park into Cameroon's first marine national park. A move that is hoped will go a long way to protect the marine ecosystem while improving on the livelihood of the population. Regina Leke Chantak and Emmanuel Bivrika for Canado English in Mwanko.